Since before Mary Shelley created Frankenstein and his monster, or Bram Stoker first committed Count Dracula to paper, horror has been a mainstay of literature both high and low brack. And a hearty handful of them serve as the backbone of the horror movie industry for those that prefer their scares on screen, too. There is undeniably a long and storied history in horror literature, so it should be said that this list is by no means exhaustive, and mostly a much more modern rundown of titles that fans might vibe with. I am the librarian, Ash from What Culture Horror, and these are the 10 most terrifying books horror fans must read. 10. 20th Century Ghosts – Joe Hill Starting this list with some strong stuff, 20th Century Ghosts is the debut short story collection of Joe Hill. That is Stephen King's son, for those unaware, and his work features some of the new millennium's most frightening, most inventive, most poignant short fiction in the genre. To be fair, there are loads of moving pieces of genre fiction within this collection, but this list is all about scaring you senseless, so just to zero in a bit, the book's opening story, Best New Horror, is fittingly enough one of the scariest short stories out there. It is a blackly comic tale of an obsessive horror editor who insists on tracking down the clearly disturbed author of a horrifying story. At night, in his rundown farmhouse, at the top of a hill, on the end of a dirt road, miles from civilization. We can see where this story is going here. 9. Meddling Kids – Edgar Cantero This underrated genre bender sees an affectionate, grown-up parody of the Scooby-Doo crew return to the hometown of their youth, and encounter all manner of disturbing, Lovecraftian nastiness in the process of uncovering a decades-old mystery. Along the way, Cantero brings a bevy of pop culture references to the story's strange mashup of homage and satire. However, once the group arrive back to their devastated hometown, things take a dark turn, and the novel's horror elements are pushed front and center. Here, Cantero doesn't hold back, offering nightmarish visions of eyeless monsters teeming in the earth, and blood magic incantations awakening mountain-sized monstrosities. Like Lovecraft himself, Cantero takes care to ground the scale of these monsters inside the claustrophobic settings of abandoned mines and a quiet small town, whilst frequently throwing in ghostly visitations and horrifying nightmare sequences in case the subterranean threat isn't potent enough for readers. 8. Luna Park – Brett Easton Ellis Luna Park is not an autobiography. This needs to be noted, because although the novel will later feature a killer Furby, the first few pages are an essentially true-to-life memoir from the author. This metafiction head f from American psycho creator Brett Easton Ellis stars the author as a twisted version of himself caught in a combination of fictionalized memoir, haunted house horror, dark satire, and poignant family story. A singular and scary piece, the novel sees him try to unearth why his son has become obsessed with an odd game whose rules are never made clear, but has something to do with his missing classmates. Paranoid and trippy, the novel may provide no clear answers, but after a grim self-exorcism of a horror story, its closing pages are an enigmatic piece of storytelling which stands out in the writer's often cold and clinical catalogue. 7. House of Leaves – Mark Danielewski Some of the novels and collections on this list may feel like nothing you have read before, but only one book is genuinely like no other novel you have ever seen. Often called unadaptable, experimental author Mark Danielewski's infamous horror novel, House of Leaves, is a mind-bending story which deconstructs not only horror fiction tropes, but the very medium of literature itself. With pages upon pages of footnotes within footnotes, this bizarre meta-horror is a surreal, experimental tome whose story story technically revolves around a fictional found footage horror movie, which itself concerns an impossibly proportioned haunted house. Technically is thrown in there because anyone endeavouring to read this surreal, often terrifying literary experiment should know that it's the bizarre writing style which makes the book utterly unforgettable. This playful project is a triumph of style, but make no mistake, the horrors contained within are only made more effective by their inventive presentation. 6. I'm Thinking of Ending Things – Ian Reid No list of horror novels would be complete without at least one book which is solid, enjoyable, but largely unremarkable, then blows the reader away with its ending. I'm Thinking of Ending Things is the debut novel of horror author Ian Reid. The tense and twisty psychological horror follows a newlywed couple who take a disturbing detour en route to meeting the in-laws. That is all you need to know before diving into this one, whose brief length, aka 200 or so pages, allows the author to pull off a punchy denouement Mont, which will leave readers reeling. It could have been a cheap shock tactic in less graceful hands, but suffice it to say that there's a reason the mind behind being John Malkovich saw serious potential in this one. The novel takes its time to get going, establishes the believable voice of its narrator well, and pulls the rug out from under the reader just as they become invested in the characters. It is a brutal moment, and one which horror is perfectly suited to. 5. Cold Heart Canyon – Clive Barker 
British horror legend Clive Barker has navigated most subgenres during his long literary career, with his earlier work featuring some truly gruesome body horror and some of his later novels offering chills of a more subtle, fantasy inflected variety. But 2001's Cold Heart Canyon saw the Hellraiser creator return to his gruesome, gore focused roots. This dark satire sees an in demand actor hide in the Hollywood Hills as he recovers from extensive plastic surgery, only to encounter the ghosts of his mansion's Golden Age socialite residents. And their their depraved antics. One of the more disturbing entries on this list, Cold Heart Canyon sees Barker refuse to shy away from some of the seriously graphic and messed up horror elements, which many readers may prefer to steer clear of. But for those who like their genre literature to interrogate the darkest corners of human existence, this bracing and brutal novel is a harsh and chilling shot of pure horror. 4. The Last Final Girl – Stephen Graham Jones Funnier than most of the entries on this list, but no less scary, The Last Final Girl is a playful horror satire released to critical acclaim in 2012. Taking the deconstructive approach of Cabin in the Woods and the beloved Scream series into written form, this experimental novel sees author Stephen Graham Jones parody the tropes of slasher cinema, whilst also offering a kinetic and creepy slice of straight horror in the process. The story concerns a small group of self-consciously cliched teens stalked by a mass murderer, but it is the witty dialogue and inventive delivery of this one which makes it so funny, creative, and at times, seriously bone-chilling. Much like the more wildly experimental House of Leaves, The Last Final Girl never hides its own medium, and instead often focuses on the fact that you, the reader, are currently sitting reading the novel. A creepy bit of metafictional play which makes the story's many gory surprises all the more unsettlingly effective when they do arrive. 3. The Keep – Jennifer Egan Pulitzer Prize winner Jennifer Egan has shifted between numerous genres during her career, with her debut The Invisible Circus being a nostalgic coming-of-age tale and her most recent hit, 2017's Manhattan Beach, being a slice of historical fiction. Released in 2006, The Keep is a brief and brutal bit of horror which proves the author has also mastered the darker edges of genre fiction. Following the construction of a hotel in a remote European outpost, the story sees a pair of estranged cousins attempting to work together whilst hinting at a dark past the pair share one whose misdeeds have unsettling echoes in their current lives. Its clever story takes a while to come into focus, but a barnstorming final twist makes everything about this dark horror story suddenly uncomfortably clear, and cements Egan's place in horror history for good. 2. Night Shift – Stephen King So far, this list has made a point of avoiding the inclusion of texts which have been adapted into iconic horror movies where possible, as most readers already know that Frankenstein, Dracula, and books of that ilk are vital additions to any horror fiction fan's bookshelf. That said, there was always going to be an entry reserved here for horror fiction icon Stephen King. It is not easy to pick a single book from the writer's long career, Skeleton Crew being a personal favourite, but ultimately, one of Stephen King's books, which undeniably belong on a list like this is his single iconic short story collection, Night Shift. Featuring many of the writer's earlier efforts, this collection not only sets up his post-apocalyptic epic, The Stand, by the tale Night Surf, it is also the single text which provided horror filmmakers with the premises for Graveyard Shift, Sometimes They Come Back, Cat's Eye, Children of the Corn, The Mangala, and, uh, Maximum Overdrive. 1. The Haunting of Hill House – Shirley Jackson Recently the subject of an excellent adaptation, Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House is a singularly terrifying, surprisingly moving slice of horror which every reader needs on their shelf. The Netflix series of the same name may bear little relation to this iconic classic of haunted house fiction, but its influence is felt in every moment. See, Jackson's deeply creepy novel pioneered the is she crazy or is it something supernatural ambiguity which remains a favourite theme amongst horror's many unreliable narrators, and the subtle way in which the main perspective creeps into the theoretically level-headed narration of this classic is a narrative sleight-of-hand trick. Even the novel's objective moments are coloured in by subjectivity, leaving readers distraught and lost throughout its tense and taut plot, never comfortable or sure of themselves, but always desperate to know what happens next. And that's our list. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine-tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.